what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i want to talk about why the narcissist will regret punishing you but it's more like why they don't like to punish you when a narcissist starts to feel like they've made a bad decision punishing you a certain way they will quickly try to take that position away from you again and i say that because there are certain punishments that benefits the narcissist and certain ones that don't but they don't think about that when they come up with their game plan so at work one of the narcissist's closest servants advised her to use me to do something that the narcissist normally do so i can easily feel that position being myself without having to put on an act because again like i told y'all in the past we all know how to do the task and that we all know what to do already it's for anybody you know and so the thing is what narcissists don't like about that is chances are people are going to start to admire you take a liking to you you know you're going to do it better than a narc the narc already think that they're up on you and you know they're they're gonna be requested for something based off how much they have love on people and um you know gave false promises to just kind of breadcrumb them along and you come along and you don't have to do none of that to fulfill that position but people still flock to you in a way to where they just genuinely admire your character your personality is soothing it's welcoming it doesn't make them feel like they have to do something in order to get that out of you whereas the narcissist is always putting on an act so it's just like they only give you the person that they've created in their mind when they feel they can get something from you whereas you don't think that way you're just doing the right thing not because it's something that you're looking for in return so that's why the narcissists will regret punishing you when they feel that you will feel the position better than they can that's why i say sometimes they don't want the smear campaign to do a little bit too much because it it ruins their plans of what they're trying to do to you the smear campaign only goes on you know we have to you know keep keep this up about this person being such a horrible person they've hurt you and we have to warn people about them right and the narcissist is like, yeah, but slow your roll. Just wait until I give you certain orders. Don't go before me and get too ahead of yourself. Because sometimes I may still, you know, want to deal with them. And so that leaves the new supply or the, you know, just supply in general just thinking like, okay, I'm confused. Because in one breath, you're screaming that you hate them and you want the world to know they're horrible first. And in the second, you know, the same breath, you're like, but, you know, I don't want you to say nothing about it. I just want you to feel that way about it so that you can stay away from them. And that you would think that that would open people's eyes to think for themselves, but it don't. The narcissist can still easily pull the wolf over people's eyes to make them believe what they need them to believe about somebody else like that old saying goes you know um if the narcissist can't control you they're going to control how people see you so it's just like at any given moment they can just turn that off not so much the feeling of how they feel about you they turn it off to put on an act and that confuses their new supply because the new supply again is like well i thought you hated them and stuff like that but again that's why they regret punishing you because they don't want you to take too much of the shine 
Because now chances are they'll be forgotten about. And that is one of the things that narcissists fear the most is being forgotten about. They must always be remembered for being such a great person. They must always be remembered and known for being this false character that they put on. Whereas it's not hard for you, it comes easy, it's natural, because that's your true personality. And if anything, people are going to pick up on it. Because it's like a person who is just in full costume. And they're trying to imitate someone else. Like another saying goes, often imitate it, but never duplicate it. And, you know, all that means is that you can try your best to be somebody else, be who you're not, or be me. But people will never take a liking to you. They will never love you and admire you like they do me. And not to put yourself up there like you feeling yourself a little bit too much, you know. But it's just the truth. It's just keeping it real. And they can't stand realness. You know, and the truth is nothing but the truth. There's no way that you can turn that into anything else. The truth is nothing but the truth and can't be nothing but the truth at the end of the day. It's just all about what people choose to believe. And deep down inside, trust me, those people have doubts. They have doubts. That's why they sneak and try to conversate with you. They sneak to find out, are you really living that way? Because they want to know, you know, am I punishing this person for nothing? But they sneak and do it because they are afraid of the narcissist. Because the narcissist is planted so deep in their minds that, you know, you must not go against me. Or are you going to suffer the consequences of this evil person that I've warned you about? But when people see that, well, it can't be that bad. Because they haven't done anything to really show me that side of them. That's where the narcissists begin to sweat a little bit. Because they're like, oh Lord, now the truth is going to come out that I've been lying. And, you know, I'm not all that I, I put out there. It's all a gimmick. It's an act. And now people are going to start to like them and forget about me. And I can't have that. So they hurry up and pull you back from the position. And they and and that's another reason why they pull you back from that position. Not just because of jealousy, because of course it's jealousy. They don't want people to see you for who you are. They don't want people to love you. They want to be loved and admired the most. They pull you back from that position because now they're looking at, you know, like they're showing them love differently than they normally show me because I give them the same thing. You know, everything about the narc is repetitive. So it gets old. So the person approached them and the dialogue is the same. It's repetitive like every day. Whereas when you step up to the plate, you give them something different. You might put on and they act do a little shimmy or something and it wakens the crowd from what they're normally used to so now the narc is jealous and they're like okay i can't have this gotta pull them back and take my position back it's jealousy it's jealousy and it's fear that you're gonna take over narcissists have a negative takeover spirit whereas you know and um just regular normal decent people who are non-narcissistic they it's just a natural they don't have to put on to be liked and to be loved and accepted you know so that's the end of this video i want to thank y'all for watching leave your thoughts down below and i will talk to you soon